I'm Neil Moore. You've just seen part one of the miniseries. Now get the real life story about the controversy resting at the bottom of the Atlantic. It's all next on News 8. The Duchess of York, Heather Locklear, Glenn Close, Reba McIntyre, and Derek Jeter all have a date with Dave this week. Now your latest local news. Up next, police try to stop poachers in southern Indiana. Plus, hundreds of inmates take over a jail and several people have been hurt. Also ahead, a Russian space satellite plummets towards Earth. And the foot of snow just wasn't enough. A winter storm blows yet another problem through parts of the Dakotas. All that plus sports soccer up next. Tired of heavy meals? <coughs> Try Subway. Fresh baked bread, fresh meats, fresh veggies, and plenty of six inch subs with just six grams of fat or less. Subway. Big on taste, not on fat. This is 24 Hour News 8 on the one and only Wish TV. Now, Neil Moore, Anne Marie Tiernan. Meteorologist Steve Bray and Sports Locker with Mark Patrick. This is 24 Hour News 8 at 11. Every vehicle has to be stopped. We have to have pre publicity. And to be fair to everybody, we have to do it this way. State agencies shut down a highway in Greensburg tonight checking for poachers, but that's not all they're looking for. Good evening, it's 11 o'clock, and the Department of Natural Resources has been picking off poachers tonight. This is the opening weekend of the season to hunt deer with guns, and the DNR is trying to keep hunters honest. News 8's Rick Hightower, back from Greensburg, where authorities tonight were setting some traps. Rick? Well, that's right, Neil and Emery. We're here in northwestern Marion County on the edge of Eagle Creek Park, where again this year, deer are abundant. That's because this is a, a refuge of sorts uh, for them to come here. And uh, selling illegal game has become a lucrative business here in Indiana and across the country. But conservation officers feel they've come up ways with ways to snare those who would steal from the wild. How you doing? Hunter's checkpoint. Looks like we've been hunting. You can pull all the way over to the far lane and let the officers talk to you. Motorist heading north on 421 through Greensburg got a surprise Sunday night. They ran right into a law enforcement trap. Inspectors call them wildlife safety checkpoints. It's similar to a sobriety checkpoint, but officers are looking for something different. Uh, illegally tagged deer, improperly tagged. Um, any handguns they might not have a permit for. Uh, they check my license and uh, make sure all the deer were tagged and legal to, to carry on the road. The roadblocks coincide with the first weekend of the season to hunt deer with guns. There was no shortage of hunters or deer. Well, we actually done actually done better yesterday, but we got one today. It was. We seen several deer. There's plenty. Of, oh yeah, there's plenty of deer. Typically, the biggest crime the DNR finds is people trying to use the wrong tags on deer. But sometimes they uncover much more serious violations. Nice shot. We, we've had some uh, undercover or covert operations that have shown us that that's a multi-million dollar industry in the United States is the illegal use of sale of wildlife. The big issue here at the checkpoint was big game, but the big ticket was for seatbelt and child restraint violations. Some of those motorists who got them weren't too pleased about it. That kind of screws you that way, you know, you, you get, usually when you're, you're ticketed, um, you know, they can get you with the seatbelt, but to pull you over like this, I think it's kind of, you know, bad news. Not much gets by the checkpoint team. Officials say that's a good deterrent to poaching. Officers say these unexpected stops are coming to a highway near you now through the end of the hunting season. And that hunting season runs through uh, December 1st. In five hours tonight, they saw 300 hunters at that checkpoint. 150 deer came through. Uh, they gave four fish and wildlife citations and jailed two people in drug charges and one handgun violation. And there were 20 people who were given $25 uh, citations for having no seat belts. So they got more than what they were looking for initially tonight, Neil and Anne Marie. And Rick, they're going to have this next weekend as well. That's right. All right. Be Rick prepared. Hightower. Thanks. Thank you, Rick. Well, there are some new questions tonight about a deadly accident at the old Indiana Fun Park. An internal state memo contains a lengthy write-up 
on the miniature train that derailed and crashed there in August. A grandmother died and her granddaughter was paralyzed in the accident. That memo is from state inspectors and it says the train ride derailed 79 times in the two months before the crash. And a state official today told News 8 the park should have told state inspectors about the problems. But a representative for Old Indiana said those troubles were not serious enough to call to the state. These particular incidents that took place during that time period don't, didn't fall into that category. So by, by definition of the state, there was no need to report them according to the way that the state defined major breakdowns. State investigators say it's up to lawmakers to strengthen park maintenance standards. It lifted off with great expectations and came down in flames and disappointment. Russia launched this space probe to Mars yesterday, but it's crashed tonight in the Pacific Ocean near Easter Island. Experts first thought it might slam into Australia tonight, and some worried that the spacecraft's plutonium fuel cells might cause nuclear contamination. Australian officials say parts of the spacecraft splashed into the Pacific Ocean around 2,000 miles northwest of South America. The Secretary of the Army says it's the worst he has ever seen. Togo West tells CBS News tonight that complaints about sexual harassment in the Army are piling up. West says about 4,000 women have called a hotline with complaints since a sex scandal broke at a training base in Maryland. Trainers uh, in Missouri and Texas have also been accused of uh, anything from touching female trainees to raping them. West says the Army is checking out about 550 cases. Guards have regained control after a riot at a jail in Phoenix tonight. Hundreds of inmates took over this afternoon. Several guards were hurt by flying rocks. The inmates also tried to lock eight other guards into the control tower and they shed a, a tool shed on fire. Many inmates say they don't like the jail's tough policies and what they believe is bad food. Negotiators got the inmates to give up a couple of hours later. Police are moving some of those inmates to other jails tonight. A Texas mother is jailed this evening. She